Hi, I'm Alan at BNH, and this is a first look at a really, really neat camera that's going to truly steam your vegetables. It's the Sony Alpha A7S Mark II. Joining us today is Kent Hanjo from Sony, and uh, he's going to talk with us a little bit about the camera. For starters, the camera contains the same 12.2 megapixel imaging sensor found in the previous A7S, but it has better low light sensitivity. The new sensor has the same top ISO of 409600. However, image quality from the slowest speeds all the way up to the highest sensitivities is much, much cleaner all the way out through the entire range. The new camera also features five axis optical image stabilization, which is good for about four and a half stops of additional exposure control at low speeds. The big deal though here is video. And I'm gonna let Kente tell us a little bit about the new features found in the new camera compared to the old one. Thank you. Take it. Sure, yeah. So probably the number one feature that everybody's been wanting from since we launched Wait, let, let, let me get, let me guess, let me guess. 4K video <laughs> internal. Yes. Am I right? Okay. We so finally got, got it. it. <laughs> okay, so, got it. A7S, uh, as you know, uh, did 4K video output externally. So right. you had an external recorder right. in order to capture 4K. But now you have the option to do it internally as well. Gotcha. So, um, and combined with the image stabilization, you have a powerful, powerful video machine. In addition to the 4K, I think a really, really big feature, if, correct me if I'm wrong, is S-Log3 color gamut for better detail in the shadows. Right, correct. So. S-Log3 is optimized for 18% gray, and right. it's also a flatter kind of uh, gamma curve as well, so you do get um, better uh, uh, shadow um, retention as well. Okay, and also I believe there's some adjustments we have now with Zebra? Right, correct. So what's very important for S-Log3 to work in your wor um, workflow is uh, uh, finer uh, increments of Zebra. Right. S right. So right. with um, A7S, you were limited from a level of 70%, but now you can customize it down beyond 70% and you know we have finer control so of that as well. So now you have control of all that. Okay, right. that's really, really important feature for uh, videographers. Uh, what else can you tell us about the new Sure, yeah. So we're using the same sensor, but yep. we're able to process the image faster now. So what we're able to do is do um, slow motion better. So 120 frames per second. At full, full HD. HD. Yes. Okay. So that also translates to 4x or 5x slow motion if you play it back in 24p or 30p. Gotcha. So yeah. it's a lot more control right there too. Right. Really, really nice. Also, I, I, I just from looking at the camera, I noticed that the the video button right now is a lot easier to get to. It's been yes. relocated. There's also a second uh, a, a custom function button on the back on the top of the camera, right. and there's some changes in the back here too. If you want to point out what we got here, this sure. Yeah. So. The eight, if you're used to using the A7S, you'll see a lot of changes here. And yes. the, the grip is beefier. The, the movie record button uh, is also definitely easier to press as well. I own an A7S. He's really rubbing it in right now. <laughs> you also have custom buttons on the top here. Uh, and then a plethora of uh, customizable buttons here as well. So yep. you can really fine tune your uh, machine. And it has the same solid feel as the A7R Mark II. Correct. Really, really nice. Again. Owning the previous generation, I appreciate a lot of the changes here. It's also uh, dust and moisture resistant okay. as far as construction, and again, uh, you have all of the uh, the lens options and everything else that went along with it. Right. Uh, viewing system has also been improved a little bit, right? Yes, it's uh, the same viewing system as we see in the A7R Mark II. Mm -hmm. uh, you have a higher ma magnification, 0.78x, yep. and also, as you can see here, the T-star coding. Ah, so what okay. that does is the image quality, especially in the corners, are much better. Mm -hmm. So you'll, be, uh, you'll get more fidelity out of it as well. One final question. We have two new cameras from you in a short period of time. Mm -hmm. You have the new A7S Mark II, and recently you introduced the A7R Mark II, which of yes. course has like triple the resolving power <laughs> uh, of this sensor, but two very, very different cameras and both very, very valid. Which camera is for which part of the market? Who, who's, who, who should be getting the A7S Mark II? Who should be doing the A7R right. Mark II? Right, very important question. And it's a question that you have to ask yourself. What okay. kind of shooter are you, right? Do you shoot primarily stills? Do you shoot a lot of video? Or are you kind of in between, right? Okay. A7R Mark II is a very well-rounded camera. It could do uh, stills and video very well, mm -hmm. right? But the A7S Mark II, has an edge in very challenging low light situations for both stills and video. Right. Okay. And it does have a lot of plethora of uh, video functions as well. So if you're shooting mainly video, this is the camera that I would recommend for you. Right. And both cameras, it should be made clear, are, are just perfect for shooting stills and video, Correct. hands down. Yeah. Uh, well, that's great. 
Kente, thank you so much for thank showing you. up here today. Uh, this has been a first look at a really, really special camera, the Sony Alpha A7S Mark II. My name is Alan. Thank you for watching. Whether you're a hobbyist or a professional, B&H has the answers to your questions. Experience a world of technology at our New York City Superstore. Connect with us online or give us a call. Our staff of experts is happy to help.